What's going on, everybody? Hopefully, you're able to skip the ad. We are here Friday morning looking very good for AMC right now. We're up 0.92%, $38.50, trying our best to break through this resistance level and go back into the 40s. Man, if we do it, it's going to be a very nice Friday indeed. Closing in the 40s. I'm going to love it. I know everybody else is going to love it. We got uh, Stack Sake Nation, Alan Frodo, AMC Trapper, Marine Corps, Brat. Uh, <laughs> Ape from Denmark, man. I wasn't even in here when you sent that. Thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate that. And, ooh, yes. Thank you, Ape from Denmark. Ooh, hey. Thank you, Ape from Denmark. Thank you, Ape from Denmark, for the super sticker. Who else do we have in here? We got a lot of chat going on already, guys. You guys are active, man. Ugon and Toad, Crypto Rocketeer, Frodo, Stax Ape, Allen, and Alicia in here as well. Good morning, Alicia. How's your day going? Hopefully it's going pretty good. Stacks Ape Nation says, Clay bro, what's up? What's up, Stacks Ape Nation? How you doing? Good morning, apes. Good morning to you, Space Apen. Tone Docs, a hey, Frodo. It's 8 a.m. for me in Arizona. It is 11 a.m. for me in Ohio. Frodo is also, I believe, on the West Coast. Bro, what's up, J-Bones? How you doing, man? She was having a nice consolidation in the 26 range. Yes, it is. I was looking to Shiba a little bit earlier. Dropped down to what? Like... Low 20s, 21 maybe, <clears throat> and now it's back up around 26, 26, 50 ish. Definitely no relationship to the penny guy. Man, no relationship to the penny guy. I don't even know what we're talking about. I haven't been a penny guy, but penny guys are good guys. They can be good guys, I guess. Jennifer, hello, friends. Good morning, Jennifer. How are you? Walt, hello, brotherhood. What is going on, Walt? How are you doing, man? Ugan and Toad, uh, Space Haven, King of Clowns. Uh, West Coast Pacific Time, baby. Yes, Frodo knows all about it. Here's Clay to save the day. King of the Clowns, man. I don't know if I can save the day, but I will surely try. Carlos, good morning. Por la mañana. Bro. Mañana. Mañana. Wrong language. Good morning to you as well, Carlos. How's your day going so far? Yee, Clay. Top of the morning to me and my Uncle Jason. Or from me and my Uncle Jason. Andrew and your Uncle Jason. Top of the morning to you guys as well. Mm -hmm. Alicia, hello Marine, I like it. AS mates, only in Liverpool today, so all good. Liverpool, man, never been there. Nice place, I don't know. AMC Trevor Greenfield, the guy said that AMC to a penny. Greenfield, that guy, that, okay, yeah, yeah, oh, the penny guy, the penny guy. AMC Trapper, always coming in clutch. Let me know what's going on here because I don't want to look lost in front of all my friends now. American Zenial, the real Michael College. Good morning, bro. Good morning to you as well, American. Mr. Diamond Hands watching Clayro. My Tesla LFG AMC. Let's do it, Mr. Diamond Hands. We want to see AMC 40 plus today. Justin, what's going on, man? How you doing today? Uh, Scott, let's go. Brandon, yes, let's, okay. Yeah, let's go, Brandon. And Marine Corps Brats laughing. I like it. Morning, everybody. JB. Morning to you as well, man. PSA for you as a YouTube, a content consumer. For you as YouTube, a content consumer. If you decide to stream less to give more, better content at the same time, daily tweeting, short interest utilization, and shares on loan to just short interest, I will be salty. <coughs> It's not, not that, that, that is not directed towards me. I know that is not directed towards me. Uh, howdy, Clay. I'm just paying a short visit before Paddle? Paddle? Johan! What is Paddle, man? I don't know what that is. But I'm glad you're paying a short visit. Paddle? Paddle? What is that, man? Was asking a relation between... Ma oh, Rich and Max Greenfield. Gotcha. Now I get it. Dang, Lex. Thank you for bringing it all back down together. My uncle put the mask away and the machete arose from the lake to watch the stream and see AMC break resistance. I've never seen anything more beautiful than that, Andrew. Never seen anything more beautiful, man. That's that's family relationship bonding right there, man. At its best. Here's AMC volume low, low, low so we can hit the darn moon. Yes, I'm cool. Let's do it. Coors <laughs> swears dark pools don't hold back the price. Well, you know what, Anthony? <sighs> It's a tough, that's a tough concept. I don't think that Dark Bulls hold back the price that much either. But at the same time, they don't allow for the necessary competition that should be out there. If you're bidding on something, and I know your bid, I'm likely to outbid you so that I can get my, so that I can win. I can get my fill. With Dark Bulls, you and I don't see that. And because so many retail traders are trading AMC right now, I think that it does hinder AMC a little bit, but it's not like, I don't think it's detrimental. 
Uh, about to hit his bone, remember the price is wrong. Uh, Domingo, are you a poet, man? Clay, you gonna watch the new James Bond movie? I would like to see the new James Bond movie. I watched Spectre a couple nights ago, and it's very nice. Uh, D214, hello, checking in and hitting the like button. DD214, thank you very much, man. Hey, Clay, bro, what does high short interest do to his stock? High short interest simply means that there's a lot of short shares that are outstanding. Typically, if you have a lot of short shares, <coughs> it indicates a couple things. It indicates that uh, the shorts are trying to drive the price down and that it may not be a good company. If there's that many people out there, may not have strong fundamentals, I should say. If there are that many people willing to take a bet that it's going down, then, you know, theoretically thinking, it should go down, right? But high short interest simply means, I mean, it doesn't indicate that anything is going to happen. It simply means people are willing to short the stock and they have done so. Dude, I feel like the government is working with the hedge funds to not allow the MOS to have it under any circumstances. Well, if there's anything I know, man, it's that they can try, but uh, I don't think that they're going to be that successful at doing that. I truly don't. And we all sing a baby come back and buy some AMC because I tried and I just can't live without you. Man, let's do it. Let's sing it. I said we get started. The only thing that could calm Jason Voorhees' tormented soul was the AMC GME short squeeze. Turn, turned out all he needed all along with some tendies. That is correct, Frodo. That's all he needed. Some family bonding over some tendies. Morning, Clay. Let's slap that ask button, baby. Let's do it, man. Let's slap that ask button. New York Angelo speculated on how 300,000 buy orders were entered at 4... O2 p.m. I think we were stating how the orders were held in order not to add buying pressure. Uh, not exactly sure I followed all of that, <clears throat> but if 300,000 orders went through slightly after market closed, I mean, that's, I like that's, I don't know, that's still okay if that's when they want to put those orders through. They don't have to put them through right away, but unless they were our orders, you know what I mean? Unless they were retail's orders that were being held, they have to fill those as soon as possible. But if they're, like if it's an institution's order and it wants to hold its order until 402, until the close or whatever the deal is, I mean, that's not necessarily wrong. They can just sit there and, and actually push that order through whenever they want. But if it's our orders that they're pushing through, yeah, that's a problem. Um, 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 hello, Marine Corps brat. Uh, by far my most favorite brat. Mine too, man. Mine too. Yo, boy, doing my sport and listening to you. Fatima. I like it, man. Keep doing that sport. You come on and AMC goes up, up, up. Coincidence? I think not. Talon, I also think not. Hello, friends. Hello, Clay bro. Tom, how you been, man? What's up? I'm a bit shocked that you don't know Pat Pedel Clay. Isn't that a big, isn't that as big in U.S. as in Europe? Somebody help me out here. Is Paddle, Padel, is this a big thing in the U.S. that I just don't, li I live under a rock and don't know? Please, somebody help me. I don't want to look dumb in front of Johan. Help me here. Trey is looking sickly. Let's all buy a share to cheer him up. Let's do it, guys. Let's buy some shares of AMC to cheer Trey up. Oh, Clay, bro. Oh, Marine Corps, Brad. Oh, come on. Come on, now. Oh, come on. Did you figure out what was wrong with your stream labs? Mr. Diamond Hands. Mm, no, not necessarily. So I have no idea what was actually wrong with Streamlabs on Monday. And then, day before yesterday, the camera. I think for some reason the camera app was open twice. And it was like, trying to, like Streamlabs was trying to bounce back and forth between what should have just been one camera app open. But I think somehow the computer opened it twice. And I think that may have been the problem because I shut everything down and it started working. <clears throat> but I, I like I have no idea why that happened. How is holding a large order until 402 not manipulating? Well, Pringleton, if it's their order, right? Like, it, like if it's their order, they can put it through whenever they want. Just like you can put your order through whenever you want, right? You don't have to go out and buy at 11:24 a.m. You don't have to go out and buy at any specific time. It's whenever you want to push your button and send your order through. So if it was their order, okay, like they can put that through whenever they want. If it was our order and we put it through earlier and they were holding that until a certain time, yeah, that would be bad. But if it's theirs, man, they can do whatever they want with it. If it's ours, they can't do whatever they want with it. They have to fill it in uh, in like the best way, quickest way, 
most efficient way, cheapest way possible. And if they don't, that's bad. I've never heard of petting. JP! Nice, man! I've also never heard of it. Now I'm not the only one. I've also never heard of D-Squash. D-Squash, okay. I it took my favorite little guy to Venom yesterday. It was so good. I dropped $55 on concessions. That little boy was on a sugar high for a day and a half. AMC was packed. Michelle, that's what's up. I need to see Venom 2. I liked Venom 1, but I, I have not seen Venom 2 yet. CI plus 10%. Buy all the dip. Reddit number one. Pumping CEI. Be careful on CEI, okay, guys? If you're trying to trying to make some money on CEI, <coughs> I don't know. There might be some money left to make over there. Just be careful. We know it dropped down very quickly two days ago, and it's been recovering nice ever since, but we know it dropped, and it dropped fast. Clay Brony, what's up, M. James? I can't put it through after hours. Pringleton. Well, you, you are in the U.K., so I don't know what's up with all the U.K. rules. I can put an order in through after hours. I, I guess it depends on your broker. But being in the UK, you may not be able to, man. Like I said, the UK's got a lot of different uh a lot of different laws and regulations than other countries do. And I, I don't know if you guys allow after hour and pre market trading or not. <coughs> Y'all better go watch James Bond this weekend. Yes, Mr. James 007. Go watch James Bond. I bet Clay will strike out pronouncing my last name. What are you talking about, Walt Shavahad? Uh, Walt Shava Shavahia Shavahia? I will not pronounce your name wrong, Walt Shavahia. Never, man. Shavaria Shavahia. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it, dude. I <laughs> you say your last name, Walt? I bet you're gonna strike out trying to phonetically spell your last name. So thank you. Uh, Sweden are reporting in slightly late. I know, sorry. Isaiah! So many people from Sweden in here. I love it. All you Swedes must talk to each other. See, as bum dump, I just need a few more days and I'm out. It's Tax Ape Nation, man. Get it. A few more days. I hope you make it. Hey, Clay, you're the best. You're the best, Colin. Come on now. Um, Pringleton, military brats are the best. Yo, oh, what's up, my party people? Hope everyone is great. Much love. Simon, much love to you, man. AMC Trap. My God. No worries. Thanks, Clay. Shoot. Well, can you guys trade after hours? Pringleton, are you guys allowed to trade after hours over there or no? Strike one. Oh, come on, man. Walt. Chavari. Walt, give me, like, something, man. Because if you can't even phonetically spell it, how am I supposed to say it correctly? Chavari. That must be it. <laughs> Chavaria, I like that one. Me too. A Chavaria. That's gotta be it, dude. Love Swedish fish. Shoot, man. We got a lot of love for Swedes in here. In traffic here, so not replying to all. Pringleton. Only reply when you are not in motion, my friend. Stevie, great job from Central Valley, California. Dawn. Stevie B, man. Thank you for being in here and hanging out with us. Isaiah P. Clay doesn't know what paddle is. Nobody knows what paddle is, Johan. Come on. Hey, Clay, do you have a diversity in your portfolio, or is it all AMC? Just curious. Diversity, man. I have a lot of diversity in my portfolio. AABB, AABBG, a gold-backed Ethereum tech? Crypto? Really? Donnell, gold-backed Ethereum with crypto tech. How, I don't understand how it would work, dude, but it sounds like something I'm interested in. Strike two. Dude, there's no way that's strike two. Ah, <clears throat> It's Shavahi, Shavahai, it's Shavahaya, dude, it's Shavahaya, I know it is, a Shavahai, when you hit a red light, hit that like button, Alicia, 100%, for a fact, that is the best advice she's gonna give today, when you hit a red light, hit that like button, what happened with CEI, <coughs> what do you mean, today, or like two days ago? It's two days ago, somebody released a short report saying they're shorting it because the CFO was fake, uh, they fired some auditors, they got a death spiral financial uh, report, they are, there was like two more things that were <clears throat> really, really bad news for CEI, and that's why you saw a huge sell-off a couple of days ago. Now, as far as like today, I don't know what it's doing right at the moment, but a good morning from California. Young, good morning from Ohio. Got this feeling that we're going to close above 40 today. <laughs> Lee Ramsey, man. I love that feeling because I got the same feeling, dude. I have committed myself to go to AMC Movie Theater two times a month to watch movies. I will support what I invest in, even though I have an 
Alamo Draft House movie theater fan. I don't even know what that is, dude. You have an Alamo Draft House movie theater fan? I don't know what that is. Good. Do you need some raw organic honey for that throat? Yeah. Probably. Probably. I would like some raw organic. I do have a lot of honey here, though, but it's like store-bought honey. You know what I mean? It's not like I don't have bees in my backyard where I just go, like, swipe the honey off the comb. I don't do that. I don't really like bees that much. I hate wasps. Bees are very similar to wasps, but I do like honey. How many hedge funds shorting AMC does it take to screw in a light bulb? Zero! I failed to deliver. Boom! I was going to say at least 40, man, because all the hedge funds that are strictly shorting AMC, they, they definitely couldn't do it. Some child made me a list of the worst things that could happen to a company, and some dude shorted CEI and then tweeted the list. Oh, I thought you said made me a list. Made a list, yes. And that, and said it was applicable for the company. Yes, dude. That is exactly what happened. <coughs> they went in there. They asked a, a freshman with a corporate finance, fi trying to get a corporate finance degree, but he's still taking his general education courses. And they said, what's the worst thing that can happen to a business? And those are the five things that he wrote down. And then his uncle, who probably runs a hedge fund, was like, excellent work. We will say this for CEI, and we will make an 80% gain in a day. Watch this, my child. Good morning. Oh, it's probably Jason and Andrew. Jason, Andrew. You guys didn't do that now, did you? Good morning from my Wyoming. Trey! I don't have too many people from Wyoming in here, man. I really don't. Domingo! Pero Luna Vato? What? Uh, that's my next plan. Beekeeping. My garden this past year was epic. Alicia, you're not afraid of bees? Ah, oh, man. I don't like bees. Bu bzzz, like a buzzing, and then they just like they got stingers. I know bees don't want to sting you, but they just remind me of wasps, and I don't like wasps. I have a joke, Hector. Let's hear the joke, man. Come on now. I'm gonna draft house. <clears throat> it's a theater chain started in Austin, Texas, which was one of the first theaters that served food and beer. Wow. Well, left wing wacko. Thank you very much, Frodo. I don't know how you know all this stuff, but left wing wacko is gonna support some AMC instead of an Alamo draft house. It must be, must be a tough decision, man. Alicia Wyatt. What? Alicia Wyatt dumped Karen. I don't even know what that means. Um, Isaiah, ginger, lemon, and organic raw honey for the win. Oh, man, sounds delicious. We got some tea, though. We got to put that in tea, right? Can a hedgy be sued for slander for false reporting if the reported CEI news is wrong? Mm. Lex, here's the thing about that. Um, I think it would be libel instead of slander because it was published, but regardless of that, that's interesting. I believe that they would get in trouble for manipulation, like stock market manipulation in that case, and most likely fined. Potentially, if they, if they were out there trading that, I mean, that could be some insider. I don't even know if that's insider. That, that would definitely be manipulation in that case, but as far as slander goes... And, and as far as slander and libel go, I don't know who they would have defamed in that. Because I don't know if they directly mentioned, like, any person. And I'm not, I don't know how that would work to defame a company. I guess you could. I guess you could, because it clearly caused damages. And it was clearly malicious in nature. And if it turns out to be false, it was clearly false. So, I mean, it's got everything. I just don't know how it works for a business. You know what I mean? Because you could do it, yeah, if CEI was a person, yes. The answer would be yes. They would get in trouble for, for libel. But if it's a business, I'm not sure how that works. <clears throat> Brett Texas making another celebrity appearance. What a week. It's been Brett Texas in the house, baby. Celebrity appearance, man. You guys made my day right now. Today is going to be a good day. I'm calling a $40 close just because Brett showed up. Let's put that bad boy on the line right now. $40, $40. Where are you? 40, ooh, 4006. Four, did that just move to 4004? 40 oh, 40 oh 5.
We're closing at 40.05 today because Brett showed up. You guys ready for an afternoon run? Walt, man! Thank you very much for the super chat, Walt. sha va -ri. Ah, that's what I said eight times, man. Shavari, Shavari. That's exactly what I said like eight times, dude. Uh, you get a walk for trying. Hector, I get a walk for trying? I don't even know what that means. Hector got it right. Thank you, Clay, for all the what? All the what? All the, all the re fun. Thank you, Walt. Shavari. That's exactly what I said like eight times, dude. I know that's how you say your name. A Walt. A Shavari. It's gotta be Italian, dude. Gotta be Italian, Walt, right? A Shavari! Ah, yeah, I know it is. Dude, that's almost as fun as a Piazza! A Shavari! Dang, dude, we get so many times in here, it's crazy. Walt, thank you very much for the super chat, man. Uh, I'm calling $147 close. Johan! You can't keep calling $147 close every day, man. That line's still up there. <coughs> AMC and Dogecoin to the moon! Let's do it! What do you call a, a, oh my gosh, two men shoot, no! Clay, when are you going to have a bro status giveaway, I'll put all green into, put all, I'll put all my green into AMC? What do you mean? Like a bro status giveaway, like for members only? I mean, we can do a members only giveaway if you guys want to do a mem members only giveaway. Here's, the, here's what I want to do this weekend. I want to take some time this weekend, and I just want to make up a bunch of shirts to give away. I do. I want to do that this weekend. I, I don't know if my sister just acts like she's busy or what the deal is, man. But I'm gonna I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna try and make a ton of shirts. Uh, is it Shavari Spanish though? If it is, dude, uh, there's no way you pronounce it. A Shavari. It'll be like more of a Shavari. A Shav no Shavari. Right? Does that sounds Italian though? A Shavari. I don't know. I don't know anymore. What is it? You guys got me so confused. Uh, you're going to hit by all all pitch. I don't even know what this is. Are you gonna hit by AI pitch? I dude, I am AI. Is that what you're saying there? Clay bro, it's a me, Mario in Mario's voice. Clay bro say, oh yeah, it's a me, Mario. Juan, thank you very much for the super chat. Hey Clay, make sure you're drinking water. Listen, my water's over there. I've probably already had 20 ounces of water this morning. Um, this is coffee though. This isn't water. I drink water, guys. Hey, Baze, how are you? Natasha! Stay away from the hot sauce, Natasha. Click, make some shirts for yourself, man. I'm starting to get convinced you wear exclusively free shirts and given you by Rogue Fitness. Nah, dude, these aren't free, man. These aren't free. I would wear them if they were free. Hey, Rogue Fitness, if you want to... I don't know. If you want to give me some free shirts, some free bumper plates, some free barbells, a free squat rack, like whatever you want to do, Rogue Fitness, all day long, I will wear your clothes. Um... But you don't. Hey, somebody contact Rogue Fitness for me. Tell them, uh, tell them that I talk about working out with Nickelback in the basement, and it, you know that it would be a good idea to like give me some, I don't know, squat rack, maybe a rower. I don't have a rower. Uh, you know, some good stuff. Somebody contact Rogue for me. It'll seem cooler if you contact them than if I contact them. You know what I mean? Like, if I go begging for a rower or something, they're going to be like, ha, 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 yeah, right. But if you say, hey, this dude wears Rogue Fitness clothes all the time. You should think about sponsoring him. I'm sure they get an easy email on their website. You can do it right now. Hey, babes, how are you? Natasha! Stop spamming. Hey, babes, how are you? We're doing great. And we're worried that you may have, have like, hot sauce in your eyes or something. Oh, my gosh. Why did my message send us any... Natasha, quit playing us. We know you you we know you clicked enter like nine times on that message. Marky says honey with coffee. I don't put honey in coffee, man. Is that a good thing? I've never tried that. Good morning, y'all. Victor, how you doing? You paid for them or they were given to you for free with a purchase. Well, here's the deal, man. I'm gonna be honest. They were technically given to me as a gift, but somebody paid for them. It wasn't Rogue Fitness that sponsored them. Rogue told me their first and only question you got to answer before a sponsorship is, what's your favorite go- Where did I go? This is Rogue. This is Rogue already getting back to me. I know. They're sending me multimedia messages, and that's why we're cutting out. I know it's Rogue. Thank you very much, Mr. Max Greenfield, for contacting Rogue for me and making them interrupt the stream. But 
Uh, my favorite, uh, my favorite ghost protein flavor would would probably be um, Casper. That would be my favorite ghost protein flavor, Casper. If you haven't tried it yet, it's exclusive. I'm on the I'm on the beta testing team, and it's only like they only send it to to sponsored athletes. That's that. If you haven't heard it, that's why. If you have heard of it, then I guess I was just a little late on getting it. That would be my favorite ghost protein flavor. Is is the Casper? It's kind of like a uh, I, I don't know, like a like a birthday cake vanilla type deal, with it with a hint of peanut butter. That's what it is? A little sprinkles. It's, it's pretty good. You'll like it. Bye, Clay. I'm off for paddle. Johan. Sounds like something I'm interested in, man. Let's get started. You, uh, Johan is off to get paddled right now. Dude, it's about that time of evening for you. I know. Enjoy it. Come back afterwards. Let us know how it was. Chad Nickelback is going to emerge from the basement jacked and busting out of a rogue shirt. Dude, what if I single-handedly invited Nickelback, Chad, uh, Chad Kroger, I single-handedly invited all of Nickelback over here. They did work out in the basement. They got sponsored by Rogue. They emerged, and they restarted their career, world tour, all over the place, and then I was responsible for reviving Nickelback. I would feel very good about myself. I would feel very good about myself in that situation. Clay Bro, sing happy birthday to Cavillo Therapy. Oh, Cavillo Therapy! It is his birthday. Guys, everybody sing it with me. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Cavillo, happy birthday to you, happy birthday Cavillo, thank you very much for coming back here on your birthday, you guys are awesome. So where's AMC headed, 48, 40, 4005 today is where we're going to close, we're closing at 4005 today, sweet clay bro, wet green, nice, stack safe nation, oh yes, the best one in my opinion is a nutter butter, it tastes like the cookie is 100% delicious. The Chips Ahoy one is also legit. has cookies in it. Dang, man. I thought there was going to be like a ghost-themed name to these <clears throat> protein powders. But it sounds like they're kind of normal, man. Uh, Chavaria means... Uh, what? Virginia in Spanish? Feel a joke coming on. Yeah, Virginia, dude. Interesting state. I also feel a joke coming on. Plenty of Virginia jokes that are out there. Click. Are we squeezing today? Victor! No, we're squeezing tomorrow, Victor. Get it right, man. I've been using honey on my coffee for a year now. Better than sugar and healthier. Yeah, could be healthier. I, I don't I don't use anything. Like I don't use anything in it. Do you use cream as well, Marky? You're only only black coffee with some honey. Clay Bro is awesome. His channel is awesome. Smash that love button. Sir Doge a lot, man. Thank you very much. You guys should smash that love button. If you found it, smash the love button. Click. I got Walt Shavaria correct. Shavaria. That's exactly what I've been saying for days, man. Uh, what if the testosterone ruins Nickelback <laughs> to to date's flawless music? The voice is too baritone after it immerses with workout experience. Not gonna happen. No way, Brett. No way it happens, man. No way. Everything gets better with Nickelback in a workout, so there's no way anything could get worse. Thanks, everybody. Kavila, thank you, man, for real. Good morning, lovelies. Cat, good morning to you. He's back and more raspy than ever before. Ooh, yes. Clay is squeezing his chin today. Yes, that it will be squeezed today. The beard is getting a little bit longer than usual. I think I'm going to have to trim it up this weekend. Like, look at this. Like, I can actually, like, feel how long it's getting down here. So I definitely have to, I don't know, man. I've got to run a razor through it and make sure I don't got no stragglers down there. Because look at this. Like, I can just, I can almost braid it. I can almost braid this. Victor, man! Thank you very much, Victor, for grabbing that green name. Joining the channel, becoming a little bro. You guys know what I want to see. 194 welcome victors to the chat right now. Victor. Green names are the best names, man. Thank you very much for grabbing that. We got to welcome Victor. Welcome Victor. Victor, no shave... Well, I better shave before November then, dude. I can't go all of October and November without shaving. What price do you think? Welcome, Victor. Max Greenfield, yes. Victor's like, ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Victor, come on. You guys can do better than that. There's 194 of you in here, and like six people said, welcome, Victor. You guys know the deal by now. Let's tell Victor welcome. Hey, bro, 100. Do you think we'll squeeze this year or up until next year? Latino Heat, man. Uh, uh, 
being completely honest, dude, I'm going to be completely honest, right? Not try to, like, hurt anybody's feelings or anything. If nothing changes, man, I don't think we squeeze. Like, I don't think we squeeze this year if nothing changes. Unless, the only, the only reason we could squeeze this year if nothing changes is an external catalyst, which would technically be change, but we could see that if, uh, if the hedge funds losing money want to book that loss so that they can go out there and write off their taxes. We could see that situation take place. But if nothing else changes, it's going to be tough. Black coffee is the healthiest way to consume coffee. Straight up, uh, bean water is the way to go. Adding extras not only adds unnecessarily unhealthy things, but takes away the benefits of the black coffee. Shoot, man. We got we to gotta keep this black coffee going then. We, we love that bean water. Uh, Manscaped, this man needs to be sponsored. Sir Doge a lot. Thank you. Speaking of spot, okay. For some reason, okay, I, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if just more people are, are finding out the channel somehow, but I got an email. It was either last night or this morning. I, I saw it this morning. Some, looks Chinese, definitely Asian. Some Chinese, possibly Japanese, I don't know. Some Asian company wants to, wants to collaborate or whatever and they have anime comics, okay? They're into anime comics. I don't know if it's because I got a Dragon Ball Z mug. I don't know what the deal is. I've never read a comic book in my entire life, but are you guys interested in anime comic books? Because, like, I browse through all of the titles, I mean, it's like, it's anime, dude. It's anime. You can get a little risque over there in the anime. So, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. But, yes, they were reaching out and anime comics. I was like, interesting. So, I, I scrolled through all the titles and, and the artwork. Yeah, it's anime. That's, that's a fact. What price do you think AMC will get? Be realistic. Jair, man. What am I not realistic, dude? What am I not? So... <laughs> It's difficult to judge the price because it's all going to come down to how long we're willing to resist that temptation to sell. I think 500, yeah, doable. 1,000, doable, less easy. 2,000, doable, but less easy. 10,000, doable, but less easy. Anything is doable, but as the price rises, it becomes less and less likely to happen. So just keep that in mind, man. Black coffee suppresses appetite while increasing. Uh, neat. Through subconsciously adding to movement, you don't realize you're doing tapping fingers, feet. Look at the dude, this is me right now. This is me right now. Bean water is 10-10 diet tip. I'm tapping my fingers all day long, man. How do you know what I'm doing? Jason says, heck no. Jason is not interested in anime comics. An anime comic about Clay hijinks on his rumspringa. Now that sounds like something that I would also be interested in. Maybe if I can get them to make me in anime form, then I will gladly sponsor their comic book shop. But if they don't do me in anime form, I don't know. Um, Marine Corps Brad says, no, do it, Clay. You can wear the sponsors like a NASCAR driver. <laughs> that would be pretty sweet, man. I could do that. That would be pretty sweet. Whoa, hold the phone. You're saying a squeeze is unlikely. You're pretty much betting on a long shot. No, no, no. Banana Man, no. I'm not saying that. I'm... Okay. Technically, I am saying that if nothing changes, right? It's a long shot if nothing changes. But we are seeing change right now, right? <clears throat> We're seeing lower volume than we've typically been seeing, which I believe is a good thing. The lower volume... It puts you through a transitionary phase of weeding out the people who are here for a squeeze... And weeding it, well, not weeding those out, leaving those in and weeding out the people who were here for the volatility to take advantage of the price swings, to day trade the stock, and so on. And as they leave, the stock becomes less and less volatile. And if we can consolidate like we're doing now, $30, $40 per share, $50 per share on lower and lower and lower volume, knowing that these day traders are leaving, then that is setting us up for the opportunity that we want to see. Now, the, the situation that I just described there is almost an ideal situation. Price is slightly rising as volume is, is decreasing. And we always have these external factors in the back of our minds as well. So I'm just not saying, I mean, I'm, just, I'm not, 
not saying I'm, I, I am saying that it's not going to be easy or that it's likely to happen in the current state with high volume, you know, lowering prices and so on. We need the shorts to cover. And if they don't have a reason to cover, it's kind of silly to expect them to cover. Uh, do it, Clay. Okay, so that uh, CCXI 3052. Now we'll go to 50. CCXI, I don't know. A non exercise activity thermogenesis. Neat. I knew that's what that started for. Or just, I knew that's what that stood for. Yeah, non exercise activity thermogenesis is the energy expended for everything we do that is not sleeping, eating, or sports like exercise. Dang, man. So sitting here talking is technically neat activity. No, just neat. Sitting here talking is neat, isn't it? Uh, don't mess with anything, China. You see where the stocks are going down. Is it going down, man? I do have some farming, darn it. <coughs> Lower volume means people are holding and people are holding and buying. Yes, exactly, Hotchback. Yeah, that's exactly what that means, man. A long shots happen every day. Example, it was a long shot. It was a long shot that AMC ever ran to 72 in the first place. It was a long shot that we'd find Clay. It was a long shot that Max Greenfield and Elizabeth would find each other. It was a long shot that this beard would actually grow in. It was a long shot that we all became best friends and we lived happily ever after. But we did it anyway. This girl I've been seeing brought me to a trivia night. Ooh, he's, I guarantee Brett schooled this. With her friends Wednesday, there was a question about Evergrande and what country they were in. Crush that one because of AMC. Boom, baby. Now that's what I'm talking about, dude. That's what I'm talking about. I don't care if you got every other question wrong. You killed the Evergrande question, man. Nice. Nice. You see, you hang out with us, you'll learn more. You're doing better. It, it translates into every aspect of your life. Even trivia night. Dude, Brett is killing it for all our friends. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, Brett. All right, man. All right, guys. Have a good day. A great weekend. We'll seven at AMC and dine out with a wife, son, son tonight. Gotta go commit some sins to the gym for a little workout and eye candies. Marky! That's what I, all right, dude. Enjoy it, man. Sounds like you got a good day planned. Where the heck have you been? Brett's back. Guess who's back? Brett is back. Back again. And tell his friends. Brett is back. Brett is back. Brett is, Brett is back. For real though. I uh, bet you felt so smart. People were like, oh my god. Wow, dude. I feel so smart for it, man. How's it going, Clay? Orlando. It's going excellent, man. Let's do a power minute of thumbs up for the live stream. Walt Chavaria. Do it, man. Do it. I see you guys do it. Everybody go click the like button right now. For Chavaria, not for me. For Chavaria. I think most of the apes can resist styles and a share. Hey, Travis, I do too, man. Then we start flying out with this five years and six years. I also think that the apes, uh, like if the apes just decided to do something, I believe that they could. But here's, here's what I also think, and you guys may agree or disagree. I don't think that everybody holding AMC is like a legitimate ape. I, I truly don't, man. I think that they're, a lot of them are wannabe apes, and I think a lot of them are just retail investors waiting for a pump and dump. Uh, but not everybody's apes. If they were, we would have squeezed already. Good man, still naked because we're waiting for the bro onesie. Well, shoot, man. As long as the baby still, the baby can be naked as long as you want it to be naked. Post squeeze. Once we're all, where did that go? Millionaires. We should buy a trailer park to all live in together. That seems like it seems like they're all broke, but secretly has underground mansions for all of us to hang out. With oh my gosh, dude! Just one huge basement. Right, one huge basement with access from all the trailer parks, and then we live down. Well, I don't know, is it sectioned off. And then you can open the doors. I don't want to like go down in my basement and like, then everybody's just wide open doing a bunch of crazy things down there. Yes, underground rooms with locks on the doors so that I can actually go down in my in my basement and not have you guys hanging out with Nickelback down there. But, yeah, I like the sound of that, Max. I do. I like it a lot, man. Enjoy life every minute. No one knows what will happen tomorrow or even the next hour. AMC Army. Facts, man. He was on a secret mission taking down the market manipulation, and he succeeded. Moon time, ladies and gentlemen. It is moon time. I have been naked for weeks in, in protest of not receiving the bro onesie yet. M. James. 
<clears throat> oh, it was a lot easier to just picture a naked baby than it was to picture you naked, but thank you. Thank you. Now I'm going to have a great day today. Max Greenfield, ah, oh, man, we need a name. Bro Meadows? <laughs> Bro Meadows sounds really cheerful. That's, I like Bro Meadows, man. Is that for all your wives in Texas? Hey, the wives can live in the trailers upstairs. Max lives in the mansions downstairs. Yeah, I don't need to go pee and see a Brett's booty cheeks making mozzarella sticks at 3 a.m. wearing nothing but an apron. Actually, let's be real. That's something we'd all enjoy. It is, dude. And I would ask for one of those mozzarella sticks because they look delicious. That's great, Barry. I'm not a true eight because I have less shares at a higher cost average. <laughs> Barry, true ape here. 7,400 shares at $6.40. Dang, Barry's killing it, man. 7,400 shares at six forty. I like it, Barry. I like it a lot. I would live there as long as Chipro has his own trailer. Dude, Chipro, I would give Chipro a trailer for sure. <clears throat> Chipro, have you guys been watching my Twitter lately? Because he's been back every day for like the last four or five days. Has it been four or five days? Maybe it's been more. Maybe it's been since the weekend. Whatever it's been, he's back, and I'm really, 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 really happy. Uh, Barry, it's 282,000 is pretty solid. Yeah, that's pretty solid, dude. I would agree with that. 282,000 anything. 282,000 pennies is pretty solid. Over 200 here and under 100. Nice, new foe. If you hear you and Abe, Max Fax. Max and Fax rhymes. Max Fax. Chipro should have the biggest, most luxurious trailer. Dude, Chipro knows how to hold on to things. I'm telling you that right now. And I, I listen, I took a slow motion video of Chipro this morning, so maybe I'll post that on Twitter later. He's like, it, it's like 23 seconds long. It's a nice video. Party in Clay's boring backyard. Let's do it, M. James. I'll invite all of you guys. Chipro is accustomed to living underground. Yes, he is, man. Chipro is accustomed to living underground, and he really likes his new hole. Glad you're back, Anthony. Everybody's glad he's back. I glad long time. I'm back. Yes, I am glad Anthony is back as well. Anthony, thank you for coming back. No, I should. Max Greenfield, make it happen. Yes, make it happen, please. Wait. Elizabeth. Ooh, Elizabeth wants, wants the biggest, most luxurious trailer. Ah, no, I should, Max, make it happen. Oh, I like it. Yeah, Max, I think she wants the biggest, most luxurious trailer. She says, make it happen, man. Okay. Shoot, man, that's a competition between Elizabeth and, and Chipro there for the biggest, most luxurious trailer. I don't know. Head and shoulders, AMC stock? Maybe. What chart are you looking at? That's right, Clay. Yeah, I knew it was. Okay, Ortex data. Nick! You getting Ortex data, Nick? If you're out there, man, we need an Ortex update. I got a few bags in the vault. Sir Doge a lot. Good deal, man. Bags in the vault are always good. From the top, it looks like a normal trailer. But once you get underground, it's actually a double wide. Ow, ow, ow. Dude, that, I, I like big basements. I like big basements. What do you expect us to go? Oh, good question, Josh. I'll show you, man. I'll show you. 4005 is what I expect for the close, man. I'm extremely optimistic for today. We're going to have a nice day. Overall, Latino Heat! Oh, thank you very much, Latino Heat, for the super sticker. That is a good one. I tried to make the drool come out, but it just wouldn't come out, dude. And it, when you hold your eyes open wide like that, right in front of that ring light, it, it's a little difficult. I get my eyes are going to water before I start to drool. Ah, oh, River Denning, that is awesome. What did River say? I don't know. Missed it. Sorry. Should be you know, going to be accepted by AMC for payment options. Have you heard of this? Anthony, I have not heard of that. I do not know if it would or not. Aren't there really high transaction fees on Shiba, though? Aren't there really high transaction fees on Shiba, or am I wrong? I might be wrong. I don't really know. I'm just asking. Uh, I like big basements and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. When you walk into an itty bitty house and the basement is really big, you get sprung. Act like I don't not don't know. I like big butts, dude. If you didn't jam out, I like big butts when you were little. I don't know what you were doing. One of my starts will crypto dip. Ricardo, 
It depends, man. It depends. Like, what do you mean by starts? I don't think that crypto is going to take a big hit as it starts to rip higher. If it's if it turns into some elongated, like, just ridiculous run to $2,000, $3,000 or something, I do feel like a lot of people would pull assets out of other stocks to try and jump in, uh, to try and jump in and, and take part in the AMC run. But I don't know if they're gonna do that right when it starts, man. Like, like if it's if it doesn't start and end rather quickly, I think that people would make the decision to close out some of their other positions and jump in AMC. I want a she shed amongst these trailers, Max. Dang, you want a trailer and a she shed? I like it, man. I like it. Elizabeth, she knows what she wants and she's going for it. Max, man, the ball's in your court now, dude. The ball's in your court. Bro, I'm still wondering if you're down for that hot chip challenge. Yeah, I, I would do that. I would do that. I, and I would not have a problem, like, throwing up in front of you guys if it's way too hot or, like, crying in front of you guys. Like, I'm not too manly to cry. What do you mean? The hot chip, guys. Freaking ghost pepper, man. Carolina Reaper. I'm not afraid to cry. I'm not afraid to cry in front of you guys. It'll happen. Uh, should I do it, though? <clears throat> like, if, if you guys would all do that and you all bring a friend... To laugh at me and watch me eat that chip, then I'll do it. I should do it in a live stream though, not a video, because I can just like fake you guys out in a video. I can like eat a Dorito and be like, oh, oh my gosh, that was hot. That was really hot. You guys wouldn't know, but like if I'm doing it on live stream or whatever, I think that's gotta be pretty legit. Clear bro, I will see your 4005 and raise you 90. Five to a 41 end of day stacks ape nation all right man i see your 41 and lower you from 95 back down to 4005 oh wait, that's not how it works oh my bad man our trailer park is going to be slums but then you push a hidden button in the bathroom and take an elevator down to the real life wakanda <laughs> Dang, dude, this sounds like this does sound like a lot of fun. And the the funny part is, yeah, we could make that happen. Okay, I'm not saying like all 195 of us have to do it, but we could make that happen. You can buy the land, and then have it excavated, and then make your underground laboratory, and then put some trailers on top. You could easily do it, man. Easy. Would even it wouldn't even be that ridiculous. Maybe like a couple million dollars, and you count what we're talking about here. It's just a basement. And the best part is, okay, here's the best part. Watch this. This is called networking, guys. And I'm taking a shot, too. 194 of you in here. Does anyone do excavation? Okay. I'm sure we've got some construction workers in here. I'm sure we've got some guys that can drive some bobcats and dig some holes with some bulldozers. So we can make it happen amongst ourselves, dude. And then we don't even have to pay anybody to do it. We're paying each other to do it. My gosh. Perfect. I'm not even asking. Like, I, that's not a rhetorical question. Does anybody do that? Let's play this scenario out in our heads. Let's live this fantasy right now. You know I like big butts. And uh, when you when you see Elle, when you when you something the song of big butts, it's a and not its name, Baby Got Back. Yeah, dude. When you call it, I like big butts and not baby got back. Baby got back. Mm -tsh, mm -mm -tsh. Uh, Clay, bro, who has the best burgers? That's a tough question, man. I don't know. I really don't know who's got the best burgers. I've I've never really been able to, t to determine who has the best burgers. Clay, bro, important Clay, important question here. In what scenario do you see apes sell their shares and leave AMC? It's a bummer of a question, but it needs to be discussed. It is a bummer of a question because it makes it tough because you say apes, okay? And I see somebody, when I think ape, I think somebody who is like 100% committed to the AMC stock short squeeze. And I see them selling when the short shares have covered. Now, because you guys know, I know the majority of people are not apes. I think they sell when they get bored. And I'm gonna be completely honest. I already see people getting bored. I see. I did a Shiba. I did a Shiba Inu video like two days ago, 
and I didn't even send a notification out and didn't put it on my subscription feed. That video got more views than my last two AMC videos. So people are extremely distracted right now because AMC is stagnant and you got things like Shiba and CEI and all of these other stocks running that I don't I don't want to say it's cause for concern, but it's it's real, okay? And I can see it in the fact that people are just more willing to watch a, a Shiba video over an AMC video. And uh, that makes it tough because that that is part of the temptation. That is part of the distraction. That is part of what we need to get over because when AMC has been stagnant in the 30s for a month and things are running and people start to think, well, I could just go grab that and come back to AMC since it's not doing anything. And that's when it becomes dangerous. I watch Fixer Upper. I like that area. Max, yes. Waco, let's go. Red Robin. Oh, Red Robin. Yeah, Red Robin's got good bur burgers. <clears throat> pointless question. Irrelevant. There. Pointless question. Oh, it wasn't that pointless. This is the best investment. Or no, I honestly think this has the most potential of any in investment around. No way. No way Rocket is here. Rocket, what is up, Rocket? Oh my gosh, the whole the whole group is back. I'm dying inside right now. I love this. I watched OK saw that. I'm not saying no to Texas, but I want to voice my concern about getting drunk and waking up married to the entire trailer park after getting emotional and loving. <laughs> well, that's gonna have to be something between you and Elizabeth, I guess, because I can see that happening. AMC trap my man, what's up, Rocket? Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hot picks will come and go, but that's why they are distractions. Nobody's selling this thing. Easy. Yeah, I mean, that, that that's true, dude. They're a distraction. They walk by and you want it. What's this? Rocket, thank you very much for the member chat, man. It's been so long since Rocket's been here, he doesn't even know about member chats. Get a free member chat, dude. Come on now. Thank you very much for using that. I appreciate that. And I uh, appreciate you being back, man. You have no idea how much we missed you. Red Robin, all-you-can-eat fries. I'm pretty sure you can sub the all-you-can-eat fries for all-you-can-eat broccoli, too. Would anybody in their right mind ever do that? Don't drive and try to comment. When Clay reads it, you'll realize you smell misspelled half of it. I'm parked now, so we are good. Chris, good deal, man. That makes it a lot easier. Brett, thank you very much, Brett. Brett says, oh, snap. Thank you very much for the members chat, Brett. I appreciate that. Oh, snap. What's this? What's this? Oh, snap. I like it, guys. That's why I'm not thrilled with other YouTube and creators. It's a shame. They sell, they share their focus constantly. It hurts hate movement. Uh, yeah, Michelle, I do think that plays into it a little bit. I do think that plays into it. Chico's Taco, El Paso, Texas. Quintana, I like that name. Ah, uh, Quintana. Sounds like I like tacos, so that sounds like something I'm interested in. Uh, in Missouri, there's meth labs that look like trailer parks. And then you go under them. We could just buy them then. We could just buy them, and then you go under, and they have like an underground laboratory. And, um, that would be really cool. Where are you located, Natasha? I'm located in Ohio. Where are you located, Natasha? You get a one you get one a month. It's like a super chat, and I hate to break it to you, but you both just wasted yours. <laughs> no, they did not waste it, man. That was perfect. Happy Friday. What is happening? What is happening right now? What is what is happening? Right now, that we have Brett, Rocket, and Natalie in here. What is happening right now? Oh my gosh, I'm living a dream. Rocket, thank you very much for the super chat. Per my absence, Shen Shane of my love, and buy Nick F something off the dollar menu at the very least. Nick F is not even in here. Nick F doesn't like me. What is he doing? Rocket, thank you very much. I will always send your love to Shayna. I do that, and I did that in your absence, man. Do not worry about that. Uh, I, I made sure to keep the romance alive there. And uh, Nick F., yes, I will definitely get Nick F. something off the dollar menu. Maybe like, uh, I don't know, small fry or something. I feel like Nick would be into that. 
gosh, where's the, this is just great, man. This is just great. Everybody's in here. I don't know what's happening right now. Whoo! Hey, you clay bro. Happy lunchtime. Lennon! It is very good lunchtime right now. And, oh my gosh, Rocket. Thank you very much, man. It feels like we have 990 out of 1,000 pieces of a puzzle in place. Do you think we need margin calls, liquidations, or something major to let us complete the AMC puzzle? What do you think is missing? Simon. I think that we're more likely to see margin calls on AMC than we are willingness to cover at these prices, okay? So with that being said, what do we need to see for that to happen? Higher prices, lower volume, uh, external factors coming into play, that we would, just anything to increase the risk for the hedge funds, man. And all of those things I mentioned would increase risk, but I think we need... Increased risk, increase, increased risk if we ever expect the hedge funds to be margin called. I'm not going to lie, I dabbled in some other short plays like ATER and GREE, but only to possibly ride the uptrend to put my winnings back in AMC GME, not too much, but now I'm holding some bags. <coughs> Frodo. <coughs> And you know, you know that's a risk that you run too. Like the thing, the thing about AMC that I think you guys will notice is AMC is sustaining itself because of the community surrounding AMC. There's plenty of opportunities out there in things like BBIG, SPRT, ATER, uh, CEI, like all of these other stocks that are running. There's plenty of opportunities, yes, but they're not going to be as stable as AMC. And I, the hedge funds realize that. I mean, we're not going back down. AMC shouldn't be trading at forty dollars a share, and it is. Been busy all day at work. Anything changed since yesterday on Ortex? Slightly down. I haven't seen an Ortex update uh, recently, but around twenty something percent, like low twenty, twenty, and then point something percent short interest. Uh, what's the stock look like on Grandpa's Cheese Barn? I need at least one winner in my portfolio. I don't know if Grandpa's Cheese Barn has stock, man. Nothing is missing now that Rocket, Natalie, and Brett came back. I'm not crying. You're crying. Must be Rocket. Must be Rocket. Sending group messages. With my sister. Mm, yeah, could be. Rocket, I miss you, bro. P.S. Creepy World, a.k.a. Silo X, is open. I don't know what that is, dude, but that sounds scary to me. On the border, chicken quesadillas sound good for lunch right now. Any chicken quesadilla always sounds good for lunch. Natalie, you still knew who I was, even with my fake ID. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. Nat and Rocket here, and Brett here. Are we getting back together? We are getting the band back. What is, why are people messaging me right now? I don't understand what their problem is. Natalie, thank you very much for the super chat. Natalie, you have no, you have no idea. Natalie, I'm going to tell you right now, go back and watch all of the live streams because I'm pretty sure your name has been mentioned in every single one of them. So thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate that. And you have no idea how much we missed you guys. Hey, banana. Yes, we got oh, a lot of bananas. Oh, you're talking about Banana Man. I thought you were talking about an actual banana. Because yesterday, we were getting a little crazy with the bands at the end there. Uh, Silo. I don't even know what that is, man. Silo X? Silo 10? Like, I have no idea what's going on. Is Silo X the same as Bro Meadows? It could be. Sounds dangerous, though. Something big has to happen today with all the OGs coming back. AFC Trapper. I know, man. Something big. I'm feeling so good. I'm feeling so good today. Something big is going to happen. This is looking great. Um, Elizabeth, yeah, probably my brother. Did not see something about my brother. Good morning, darling. This old ape here. You just brightened my day and will be holding to the moon or grave. Adria! Good morning to you and thank you very much for that. Victor! Thank you for the banana, man. You gotta peel that banana. Absolutely, you peel that banana. Tilt the head back a little bit, do the lick, and then the <clears throat> stick. Thank you very much, Victor, for the super chat on the banana there. I appreciate that, and I know everybody else in here does as well. Bro Metals is more Bro Metals is more like a broke back mountain kind of place. Silo X is a nationally ranked haunted house in St. Louis. <whistles> Dude, I like Bro Metals better. Bro Metals better. It sounds like something I'm interested in. It's haunted house business. Scary, man. 
scary. Clay was like, where's Natalie? He even kept your line on the chart. Don't, don't tell her all of our secrets now. Come on now, Frodo. You're embarrassing me in front of all my friends. Come on. Kisses and hugs, guys. I got to go rock it. Thank, I, you know how long, how long has it been since I said rock it? Man, thank you very much for stopping by. I know you're busy, man. And uh, make sure you come back again. Like, don't just leave us forever. It's all right. Later, rocket. Oh, yes. Okay, serious question. Who blew into the Kong shell? I refuse to believe this is all randomly. Yeah, I refuse to believe this is random too, man. Somebody blew into that comp. We know they did. Jack Stack Silver says, I'm here as well. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. We got everybody in here. Jack Stack Silver's father is not Citadel. It is not Janet Yellen. But we do not know who it is. Jack Stack Silver, man, you are here too. Everybody's in here. This is the best day ever. Oh, my gosh. We're making 2021 the best year ever. This is the best day ever. Go read about Shiba Inu, a white paper, Shiba Army, I do care about AMC, GME, and the SEC doing nothing. Uh, uh, sorry about that name there, but uh, yes, Shiba does care about AMC. Love you, Maxi, aka Sam, aka Cup Bro, aka uh, uh, Elizabeth Man, aka forget all of the other names that you had there. Chris, yes, still red. Yes, Natalie is red, but guess what? You know, now that she's back and she's gonna come back every single day because we love the fact that she's always here with us. We need to come in here and I need to fix this because I moved it yesterday or the day before, and it actually accidentally went to forty six sixty two. What are you doing? Ah, uh, hold on. No, we want profile. We want forty six. No, 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 no. Yes, forty six sixty two. That's what we want. That's what we got. 4662, that is for you, Natalie. Your line is still on the chart. We're not... What are you doing? How can you not see that? Oh, my bad, guys. Oh, what is happening here? Where's the chart? All right, well, let's go big screen really quick so you guys don't have to worry about all that. I got to figure this out. Where did the chart go? Why did it get ripped? Very bizarre. You see one minute, but I don't want moving averages on there. No. Take the moving average off. Okay, looks legit. All right, looks legit to me. Good deal, but now we need the price over there. I lost the chart. River, weird, man. What happened? No like Sam, Cup Bro, Sam Blow, Sam B, a lady, a lady Katie's strictly friend zone Val. I forgot about that one. Synthetic Bread Texas, Max Greenfield, a Betty White throwback, and I think that's about all of them so far. So far, he's going to have more. Uh, our chart is blank. Like, my chart was blank too. It, like it, it moved after I moved Natalie's line. So we got to figure this out really quick. We need uh, not chart settings. Another widget. Yeah, we want. Yeah, but we want. Uh, dude, what is happening here? And I gotta figure all this uh, stuff out. All right, we'll we'll throw the quotes on later. I'll get that on later. We can just watch the chart right now, and you guys can see the price. I really don't know why it did that. That's bizarre. 
Uh, I had some dental work done last week, and they gave me antibiotics just in case, so I'm as disease-free as I can be right now. There's no other way to live, man. CEI, eh, Aquanig Knarf wants CEI. Hey, CEI is apparently trading at, hold on, 36.97 for Farmy. NASDAQ's down 0.31%. CEI is down on the day, $1.67. It was uh, it was up drastically earlier, so it's getting ripped today. I don't care how brilliant he is. No, a Musk should be in what? Along with a lot of other folks, he manipulates the market more than anybody. He does talk a lot about a lot of stuff, right? Uh, UF, UVF, actually. I don't know. It is a great day. The chat is popping. My headphones randomly wanted to sync back together. And no long in one hearing. No one hearing? One earring it? Clay, you're loud and clear. One earring it. Got now. Yeah, like a verb. Uh, he's no longer one earring it. Headphones synced back up. I love it, Chris. Uh, Sam Blow. I had. Is his name Sam Blow now? Or is it, is it still Max? Like Max, Sam. I had some dental work. I saw that one. So, in conclusion, if all Natalie. It's all Natalie's fault. Okay, gotcha. DJ Quagmire, 100%, dude. 100%. Because if I wouldn't have gone up there to move that line. Uh, all the widgets wouldn't have gotten messed up while I was doing that. Your dad's here. What? Your dad's here? Nice. Oh, my. Yes. I'm an AMC holder at $5 and Shiba holder since May. Everyone should know about Shiba Inu. The stars are aligning. I think every... Does anybody in here not know about Shiba? Like, if you don't. I don't know how you don't, but does everybody in here, like, does anybody not know about Shiba? A banana man, more like a clay, <laughs> what, clamid ya after that antibiotic cycle, clamid ya after that antibiotic cycle, good deal, man, it's free, it's free of any diseases. What's for lunch, clay, fried rice? No, John Choi, so you can make egg roll in a bowl, okay, it's like fried rice, except you don't even use rice, you just use, uh... Instead of rice, you use like coleslaw or some cabbage. So I made some of that last night. I'm not going to lie, dude. That was really good. That was really good. So that's the only thing I really have in the fridge unless I want to make uh, something else. And I highly doubt that I cook something else for lunch. So could be an egg roll in a bowl, man. It's actually really good. Instead of pork, I use some, some ground turkey and... Really good, dude. I would recommend it. I'd, I'd, I'm able to eat a lot of that stuff, too. Might know too much about Shiba. We might know too much about Shiba. This is true, Sir Doge. So my CEI and pre-market I got yesterday. And for 232 quick 45% profit. Jason, amazing, man. Seriously, might stop commenting. I've messed up everyone. Too many dab hits. It's all right. I, why are you typing when you're hitting? Are you dabbing on it, man? Why are you typing when you're doing that, though? If you just do it normal, it's okay. Uh, I have increased my position with AMC 182 shares with my profits from Sheep. Robert, very nice, man. What egg roll in a bowl? John Choi, kind of like a burrito. Yeah, it's kind of like a burrito bowl, kind of like fried rice, kind of like anything except how you don't, you just don't use the, the egg roll or the tortilla or whatever. You just put it all in a bowl instead. It was good, though. It was really good. Easy to make, too. It's just like fried rice. Oof. Don't eat cabbage and then work out. <laughs> it's not good. Uh, technically, I worked out before I made that last night. I didn't even make that till probably eight thirty. Maybe I think it might have been like eight thirty. And I worked out before that. Dude, I'll, I'll eat cabbage and work out too. I don't care. Natalie, you were someone near you at the gym. Ooh, who was it? We have a rundown Chinese place called Egg Roll King. A freaking so good. Clay, what do you like better? Crab Ragoon or Cream Cheese Hmm. Dude, I don't know. Both of them, but I typically never... I just typically go fried rice, man. I'm going to be honest. I, I like both of them, though. Are people holding sheep or selling? Yes. Yes, they are. 
Here's the deal with Shiba Inu, guys. I, I don't know where you're holding your Shiba if you're buying it on Weeble. If you're not buying it on Weeble and you want to trade it, you can use the link in the description below. But Shiba's in a dangerous place right now because it's testing all-time highs. Okay, So you're looking at resistance. If you break through, you could run. I mean, you guys know you could run. If you don't break through, you're likely to see a pullback. And there's nothing wrong. With, with trading it, especially on a place like Weeble, okay? If you want to hold for the long term, don't be concerned about a pullback at all because I, I feel like Shiba's, it, it's going to take a minute for it to get to the prices that you guys want it to reach. Everybody is out and about, including Clay Media. Dude, wouldn't that be really weird if your last name was like Media? Like your last name is Media, okay? And your parents named you Clay? I'm glad my last name is not media. You think hedge funds are pumping Shibu? Shibu. <laughs> I don't know if they're pumping Shibu or not, man, but I don't think they are. So I think somebody might be pumping it, though, because there's apparently some whale that bought like 6 trillion coins not too long ago. Fact. Speaking of smelly people at the gym, reminded me of once I saw a girl on the treadmill with toilet paper hanging out of the back of her leg, and so I was like, um, ma'am, and she hit me with the... I have a boyfriend, so I was like, oh, my apologies, sorry, have a nice day, and I let her keep running with this big line of toilet paper hanging off, and people were laughing. <laughs> Sam, I mean, Max, is that true, man? Is that true? <laughs> Grandpa Barney! Thank you very much, Grandpa Barney. Grandpa Barney in the house, baby! Oh, yes. Now we are all here. I was busy buying, AM buying my AMC family and our cousins. Oh, buying for my AMC family and our cousins. I was like, you buying us, man? What are you doing? Are you buying us now? Grandpa loves you all. We all love you too, Grandpa Barney. Seriously, when this is over, we need to take a cruise together as a family. I want to meet my family. Love you all. Grandpa Barney, that sounds like an excellent idea, man. That would be a lot of fun. And thank you very much for the super chat. I appreciate that. Oh, my gosh. Grandpa Barney's always got the best messages too. Like, so encouraging. You don't own it on Weeble? No Weeble wallets yet? Correct. That's why if you want to trade it, it's not really detrimental to the price or anything if you're out there trading Shiba on, on Weeble. Grandpa Elon Musk. Yes, thank you very much. Ugon and Toes got it right. Thank you very much, Grandpa. Elon pumps Shiba. Someone who hate the SEC. Illuminati confirmed. Dang, man. The Illuminati confirmed that? That's crazy. Hey, Barney, why don't you give me some money? Banana Man! I mean, you could. <clears throat> A barb... Barbie doll, yes, Barbie doll would be a good name as well. It's true, man. Dang, dude, you should have pulled on like a tail, dude. You should just grab that thing and be like, rip. Oh my gosh, I have a boyfriend. Okay, but you also have a big long thing of toilet. How does that? I don't even know how that happens. You have a big long thing of toilet paper hanging off your rear. Grandpa Barney, yes, Elizabeth, we do love Grandpa Barney, don't we? Sorry, my glitches are kicking in. Need to take me some medication. Well, shoot, dude. I'm glad I'm not the one glitching and causing you to think that you need to take your medication. Holding 100 million Shiba Inu got in at the low sevens. They say Shiba was a joke. And guess who's laughing now to the bank? Jason. Are you laughing on the way to the bank? Did you profit, man? Or are you still holding? What's the deal? Uh, Grandpa Bunny, hello. Yes, mentally disturbed. Hello, Grandpa Bunny. John Choi, you know her then. I didn't see what John Choi said, darn it. Kind of a bad story now that I'm older, but I used to call Walmart and have them intercom call our mom, Jenna Tools, to the customer service. That's not a bad story, man. That's a good story, Chris. It's a good story. Hey Clay, how's it how's it going today? Hey Niagara, it's going great today. How long will you hold for the Moas? End of you. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest, man. I'm gonna be honest. Like I don't have a hundred percent of my portfolio invested in AMC, so I don't care at all about selling my AMC shares until we see this squeeze. I'm completely cool with just letting it ride, man. I don't care if it's this year, next year, fifty years from now. I have no problem holding on to my AMC shares. So you think AMC could take years to squeeze, bro? Listen, if it, I don't think it'll take years to squeeze because 
I, I think before we get to that place that it would take that long, I think that we see one thing happen and that it would lead to the, the squeeze. I think if it does start to take a dramatically long period of time, we see people fall off, we see the stock price go down, and then we see them cover, okay? And when they cover, the short squeeze is over. When there's no short shares outstanding, the, the short squeeze is over. Now, the important thing about that, that you need to know, you need to keep in the back of your mind, if that happens, if we do drop in price, because this is dragging out so long that people get bored and they have to leave, it doesn't matter what price we start this squeeze from. It doesn't matter if we start from $40 or if we start from $4. If nobody is willing to sell it back to the hedge funds that are going to cover their shares, that is the moment we're waiting for. We can go from a thousand dollars from four to a thousand. We can go from four hundred to a thousand. Okay, the the squeeze is going to be determined. The price is going to be determined by how long people are willing to hold out, not by what price we start from. So that's the. Uh, that's what we need to remember. If we if you start to get depressed because the price is going down, it's not the squeeze, and we can still squeeze just as high, if not higher, because all of the people who would have sold anyway already sold off. Market combat. They've only had two downward pushes. Looks like they're holding more pressure today. We're crushing 3801. Frank, we're gonna go 40. We're going 40 today, man. I'm loving it. Clipbro Coffee Shop would be awesome when the squeeze happens. Clipbro Coffee Shop would be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? I heard Gary Gensler wants to add, wants an accurate share count, but it's not till next year. Don't know if it's true, but I'm okay to wait till then. Would be happier if it was sooner. I've not heard that, but I mean, I kind of think we do have an accurate share count right now, but that's just me. No way it takes years. It costs hedge funds to continue holding their shorts while it costs us nothing to hold. Yeah, Quinn. So, but right now they're only paying 2%. Like 1.5% annual interest rate to keep those short shares outstanding. So it's not that detrimental to them to keep those shorts alive. If less people lend out their shares, then yes, the cost to borrow rate will rise and then they will not want to keep those shares outstanding. Uh, it feels like there's just way too much money involved for this to take years. It's tying up too much liquidity to last too long. Simon, yeah, man, I, I, like, those are the arguments in favor of it happening sooner. I'm just trying to point out the possibility that it could take longer. Not that it will take longer, but that it could take longer. Thanks, bro. Clockwork. Boom, baby. Absolutely. I can't wake up in December and AMC get 15,000. Can I just wake up in... Well, John Choi, you could, man, but here's the deal. You want to sleep until December? Listen, be awake with us, dude. Hang out with us. That would be a nice birthday gift. <clears throat> Dude, it's not even my birthday, but I would celebrate my birthday in December if that happened. I would. Dunnell, thank you very much. Dunnell, I, I wasn't it Danielle before. Is it always Dunnell? I don't even know. Dunnell, gosh, I don't. Even, I never like this is a classic PD Pete, but L P D P D L P D P D L P D P D P D Pete. A peedy 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 peet. A den a lakin, a den a lakin. A lakin, 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 lakin. A lakin, 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 lakin. A peedy peedy, a peedy peedy. A peedy 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 peet. A peedy 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 peet. A peedy peedy, a peedy peedy. A peedy 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 peet. A peedy 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 peet. Thank you very much for the super sticker. A den now. I appreciate that. That's by far one of my favorite ones. Thank you very much for having some fun with us and, and giving me that super sticker there. I appreciate that. That is amazing, guys. And if you don't do the PDP with me, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just bust it out at work, man. You'll make your coworkers laugh. I know you will. Your coworkers will laugh with you. If you wait for the squeeze and then you get lots of cheese, Stacks Ape Nation, if I can remember that, I will probably try and say that in my video tonight. Because that is brilliant. Brilliant. If you wait for the squeeze, then you get lots of cheese. <laughs> so simple. So amazing. Ugon says, thank you, Danelle. Yes, I know everybody appreciates the PDP, man. Josh says, that was fire. Was pretty hot, wasn't it, dude? 
was pretty hot. Down 50% on Tilray. Just, I just can't find it in me to sell. Be holding AMC so long. Forgot how to sell. Happy feet. I know, man. Um, Robert, how do you know if Weeble is lending on your shares? Do you have a cash count or margin count? 145 before the end of October would bring back the faith some people have lost. I honestly believe uh, above 50 would bring back a lot of faith for a lot of people. Simon, I don't even think it's got to go to 145, man. I think I think a lot lower would bring back a lot of faith in people. I joined the video in the middle of that song. That was kind of weird. Kenny, that was not weird, dude. That was the LPD Pete. You know what it is by now. You're in. You, this is not your first live stream. Come on. How many states have legalized weed now? I have no idea, John. Anybody got a count on that? Hi, Kenny. Hello, Kenny. How are you doing? Kenny's a realtor, dude. Kenny uses his realtor picture. Why? Listen, I know there's a lot of realtors out there, okay? There's actually a lot. I don't know if Pancakes is in here right now or not, but why do you guys all take, like, super professional photos for your real estate pictures? It's like you're graduating high school again. You got graduation photos taken or something. I never understood that. I mean, I know you want to look professional and everything, but like, is there a, is that like an industry standard? Like your, your office makes you do that or what's the deal with that? Because everybody's always got like graduation pictures for, for the real estate photos. And Kenny, if you can answer, or if another realtor in here can answer that for me, I mean, it's just always a question that I've had. Like you drive down the road and you see a billboard and you got the realtor there and he looks like he's graduating high school. I just didn't know. Uh, it's hard for me to call myself an ape. I like when someone nicknames themselves isn't cool, but I feel like uh, if I knew about AMC back in January, I'd still be holding or really not shaking by the brain. Hey, Chris, I will call you an ape, dude. I will call you an ape. Why? Because you've been in here every single day. I know for a fact you hold AMC. It, like Additional fact that you're adding to your AMC position. You don't have to add if you don't want to. Whatever you're comfortable holding is what you should be holding. So, dude, yeah, in... And I never, you ask good questions too, man. There's a big difference in asking questions if you got some concerns and like getting scared and freaking out too. So, dude, if you're afraid to call yourself an ape, dude, I'll call you an ape right now. Uh, what price we get out? What do you think? Uh, Davinder, what, what do you mean? Yo, man, is the PDP on Spotify? The PDP needs to be on Spotify. How do I get it on Spotify? We need to get the PDP on Spotify, man. Can you imagine PDP? I, I, I know. Like, PDP's a tough looking dude, man. But I know PDP's doing the PDP when, when he needs to. Uh, it's a deal between a realtor association and Glamour Shots. Brett, I think there may, like, it may go way back. They, they, they signed with each other way back when, and they're just still doing it. It's got to be something like that, man. Marketing. Can't say it's marketing. Is it what? What's the deal with the marketing, though, man? You you have to look professional to sell the house. Like I, I understand that you want to look professional, right? I just don't know. Like it's all companies, and I know all these companies competing against each other aren't working together to take these glamour shots. So I just I, like that's where my mind. I, I can't figure that out because I, I I'm not a realtor. Would you want me? Would you want the man you hire to help you buy or sell your most valuable asset to look like a schlub? Uh... Kenny, no, okay, no, but at the same time, and I'm not saying, like, you, you can't, I would want, and, and I don't care, I wouldn't want him to look like homeless dude, right, but I don't care what he looks like, if this dude knows, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get this book, if this dude knows houses, then I, I really wouldn't care what he, what he looked like, man. I mean, honestly, if he wants to show up in, like, a, a sweet flan, like, if he wants to play, like, uh, Property Brothers, and one, like, your partner wants to come in a suit and tie, and the other guy wants to show up in a flannel, like, I'm down for that. Like, I don't care. But, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, hey, I don't just, like, scroll through real estate listings and look at the guy's picture and be like, I'm definitely buying a house off that guy, or dang. She looks good. I'm definitely buying a house off of that girl. Like, no, not really. Because I, I mean, I've had a couple houses, right? I've flipped a couple houses as well, and I really do. I don't care what the real estate agent looks like. Half the time, the real estate agent doesn't even show up. They just send one of their teammates out there to take pictures and and whatever. So. 
Most valuable assets is a big presumption. Many of us own bro shirts. Nice, Brett. That is their most prized possession. Worth anything. Much more than a house. Yeah, boy, ape status. Heck yes, Chris. Society is very visual. A looks mean a lot, good or bad. Yeah, I mean, that's true, but... I don't know. I don't feel like I have to show up here wearing a, a suit every day to talk about stocks. And I just didn't, well, like, I guess that's not even the question I was really asking, though. Like, why you do it? Because I can understand the part of wanting to look professional. But why do you guys all, it's like all the same thing. It's like graduation photos. Do you get those taken on your own or are you forced to get them taken? Uh, sorry, I just need to vent. Can't even wait for a squeeze so I can retire. I'm going, I'm getting more and more tired of my career. I'm so done. Max, here's, you can vent all day long in here if you want, man. Because we're all on the same page, dude. We want the squeeze to happen, and we want to go on for that next chapter in our lives. Um, I believe it's kind of the same as people not wanting to buy houses from younger people looking wealthy. And professionals, professional gives the illusion that you've bought lots of homes in your life. How many is lots? This is actually my old pick, my new one. I'm not in a suit. I, and listen, it's still very hard for me to see the picture anyway. I can tell it's one of those real estate pictures, though, because you got, like, the background. You're sitting there in your suit. It's a nice headshot. I, I, I don't know, man. I just... Because, dude, if I... Listen, if I walk into the house, I don't care if you're wearing a suit and you're like, yes, these granite countertops are beautiful in this kitchen and the kitchen has laminate countertops on them. I'm going to be like, <laughs> What? What are you doing? And you're like, this tile floor is amazing, but it's hardwood. I'm going to be like, okay. And you're like, I don't even know. Well, this is a load-bearing wall, and it's clearly not a load-bearing wall. I'm going to be like, all right, dude. Okay, cool. Can I open this wall up right here? And you're like, oh, yeah. You can open that wall up, make this an open floor plan. And I'm sitting there thinking, yeah, dude, if I open this wall up right here, the whole house is going to cave in because it's supporting the second floor. You know, that's the kind of stuff that I would be like, ah, I don't know. So that's why I don't really care if you show up in a t-shirt to show me the house because, I don't know. But I get it for, like, pictures. You want people to look professional and stuff like that. Clear, bro, because you're not, what is that, a, a chauffeur? I'm not a chauffeur? Is that one of those little, like, Michael Jackson-looking dudes that's, like, I don't know what that is. My dad was realtor for about five minutes, and he had cargo shorts on and a polo in his picture, and I got a feeling based off that Clay would have chosen him. I know the man right there. He would, that would have been the only house he ever sold, dude, but it would have been the best house he ever sold. It would have made an easy transaction. You know why it would have been so easy? Because we know Lisa isn't giving me a loan to buy the house, so it would have been an all-cash offer. Sure, he would have had to have lowballed the guy because, you know, I'm not going to sit there and pay asking price for anything. But he would have had to lowball the guy. It would have been an all-cash offer. We would have made it close extremely fast. Who cares about inspections because the inspectors don't do anything e anyway? And uh, we close. I don't know, a week, two weeks, whatever the time you need to get out. That's it. Done, done, and done. And I definitely would have used your dad as a realtor, man. Yeah, according to my research on the internet, most realtors are blondes who are busting out their low-cut button-ups. They lean in real close to have you sign paperwork, and things really escalate. Commission. Gotta love commission. Oh my goodness, he loved that commission. I've a cash count on Weeble. Can they lend my AMC shares? I don't think they should be able to lend your shares out on a cash account, Robert. But if they are, oh man, I, I forget how to get there. But if you uh, if you click on the little button in the top right, man, it's got your profile up there. No, it's not there. If you click on the little button down in the bottom middle where it, it pulls up your account and all your information right there, you should be able to scroll down and see like several different forms of income. And if it's not on the first page, you can go, you can go over to profit and loss, and you might be able to see it there. But it should show you like dividend income, profit and loss, uh, interest income, fees and expenses, and stuff like that. And then if you click on like the interest income part, uh, you should be able to 
find the share lending. It should be right in there. Um, but I don't know if they're going to do that when you get a cash count. I can tell you a funny story about this picture. I would love a funny story about this picture. My dad does marketing. He made it for me 10 years ago. He put my face over the top of an old guy in a suit. Nothing but head is me. <laughs> oh, Kenny. That's perfect, man. That's perfect. Dude. Oh, my gosh. Okay, now Kenny, that makes me want to buy a house off you, man. That right there, man, it, Kenny didn't even take that picture himself, dude. Think about that. Kenny didn't even take that picture himself. He photoshopped himself on some old dude's, some old dude's photo right there. I love it, Kenny. Oh my gosh, why do I need to see you before I call you? Seems weird and big billboard on top of it. Like, oh look, they look trustful. It's like insurance guys, man. They always put their picture on their insurance sign too. But yes. Yeah, I agree with you there. I agree. I don't know. Domingo, it's kind of weird, but I still think it works. I mean, it's kind of nice you know who you're talking to in a sense or whatever, but I don't know. I want, so I want to buy a house off somebody who can answer questions if I got questions about the house. I think he did his research on the FUB. Maybe, man. Maybe, but either way, he's, he's getting some good realtors, it sounds like. Most realtors did a lot of drugs in high school. I don't know if that's true or not, Banana Man. Could be. Clay, the SEC just raised the debt ceiling half an hour ago in fears that it would be reached in less than two weeks. I think AMC has a lot, uh, has a lot, has something to do with it. And we could be close to, we could be close, only time will tell. Niagara, <coughs> SEC raised the debt ceiling? I don't know about the SEC raising the debt ceiling, but... Yeah, listen, we could be close, man. We could be close. They could, they could cover at any given minute, okay? And I don't know if we are close or not. I don't want to get anybody's hopes up, but I'm always excited that it can happen at any minute. I'd rather have some dude in Crocs that's super chill to go through the houses with. Uh, bro, this entryway is dope, man. Uh, you could totally have a party in this basement, fam. You want to get some Wendy's? <laughs> no hat, dog. No hat. This is a nice crib. No hat, man. You got plenty of room for activities in this living room. Yo, you like that? You like that hallway? You can just you can just yeet something down that hallway. Full send it, man. You can full send something down that hallway. Sign the paperwork now. Get this property locked down. That's on, that's on, I'm speaking Sam's I'm speaking Max language. I know I am. Uh, everybody should jump on Twitter with the best pick tag Clibro883 and Sharp Dressed Ape. Yes, definitely. Tag me in everything on Twitter. Clibro883. I want to see it. Can't see the price. Yeah, Jennifer, I know. I was messing with the graph earlier and I jacked everything up and I don't know. Like, I, I, not adding widgets right now. I'm just creating alerts. Um,. And if I go over to quotes right here, for some reason, I, like it's not letting me adjust the the field of view and like add a chart down here or anything. So the price is currently at 38.30, but we're sitting here just kind of trading sideways. I'm gonna have to figure it out and, and fix it right after the stream ends, so that for the next one it's okay. Ah, oh, this chat is hilarious. Yolo 2021. This is a good chat, isn't it, man? This is a good chat. And I'm walking around like he's right. I'm not wearing a hat. This is a nice place. <laughs> exactly, man. No hat, dog. No hat. This is a nice place. 38.35, I think. Yeah, it's at 38. Is that right now? 38.34, we're sitting at right now. I'll fix it. I'll fix it here in a second. Oops, just did that already. Uh, let's have a Twitter contest for best realtor photo. Winner gets a keychain mailed to them. That will suspiciously go missing at USPS. Dude, we could have a, a realtor. That, that would be a fun contest. Let me. We will do that, okay? We will do that. And you guys can tag, like, your favorite realtor in it. And you can also, you have to post your interpretation of a realtor photo. And then... I don't know. Whoever gets the most likes, I guess we can we can pick the winner that way. Don't make me go through and pick the winner or whatever. Whoever gets the most likes on their realtor photo wins, and I can get some, I can get some shirts put together 
for the for the contest on that one because that sounds like something that I would have fun doing. And then it takes the pressure off me too because everybody else has to go in and like. And if you got a lot of Twitter followers, make them go in and like your picture. You could win the you could win the deal. So I say we do it. I say we do it. If you guys want to do it, I'm in to do that. Uh, let's have a Twitter. Okay, saw that he had had a good comment. Got distracted by the gymnastics death scene in the final destination. Oh man, I didn't see the comment there. Sorry. The picture it now. We are just sitting here, joking around, having a good time. Boom. 43. Boom. 48. Boom. 56. Boom. 89. And on and on. The cheering. That moment is coming when your life is changing forever. Talon. I know that's how it's going to work out one day, dude. We're just going to be rolling and ripping and roaring. It's going to be so nice. I like the words you're speaking, my friend. Max Greenfield, you don't need a hat because the ceiling doesn't leak in this rustic mid-century ranch style recently remodeled. You don't need a hat in there, man. That ceiling doesn't even leak. You may include a tagline phrase to post with your photo. Yes, anything. Anything that will help you get those likes and you will win. I say we do it. I'll get a couple different... What are your guys' sizes? What kind of shirts do I need to do? I think I currently have... Small, medium, large. Actually, I may have small through double X t-shirts. Hopefully that's good. I think I got small through double X t-shirts we can do. And now that I want to buy a trailer park, I need to lower my Zillow prices for post squeeze. Yes, you do, man. AMC is the only thing green on my watch list. <laughs> I think I had a couple other things green on my watch list this morning. I don't know what the, everything's doing right now, but before we started the stream, I had more green. I used the I used to slang real estate in Chirac. Used to slang real estate in Chirac. Thinking of getting my license again. Chirac is like the Chicago, right? Chirac is Chicago. AMC and Shiva only green for me. Dang, man. Shiva, what is Shiva at right now? Is it still a 26? Let me get in on that trailer park. Cognitive wants in on that trailer. Cognitive, you're, you're in, man. You're in. What's the AMC? What's the floor for AMC? Andrew. I have no idea what the floor for AMC is going to be, man. I think my problem is I say my comment in my head and skip words to type. You didn't miss a comment. I forgot what it was. <laughs> oh, Chris. Simon in the house, baby. Greetings from Santa Monica, California. Greetings from Ohio, Mr. Simon. Chirac, like Iraq. Yeah, Iraq and Chicago combined. I knew that's what it was, cognitive. Big and beautiful size. Victor. Triple X? Big and beautiful size. Dang, dude. Triple X, that is, that is big. A big shirt, man. Uh, what's the floor? I'll sell that one. Let me get on the trailer park. Yes, yes, yes. AFC is the only thing green on the watch list. Now that I buy the trailer park, okay, good deal. I've seen all the comments, man. Oh, love you so much. However, it's not, it's Realtor, not Realtor. We hate that, but again, love you. <clears throat> Mrs. Smith. Salesman. Salesman. It's not even realtor. It's not even realtor. Realtor. It's not even realtor. It's just salesman. <laughs> oh, rip! Oh, Debbie, love you too. <laughs> love you so much. How, oh, no, I saw it, Debbie. I saw it. What do you think about salesman? Dude, I don't, I don't want to push your button so bad that she hates me. Is she with crypto? Because I didn't see it on Robinhood. Yes, it is crypto. And yes, I know I need to get off Robinhood. No, it is crypto, and one of the reasons it's running up a lot recently is because Robinhood is talking about listing it. So, you don't have it on Robinhood yet, but you may be getting it. Debbie or Karen came into this stream choosing violence today. It's all right, man. It's all right. She's a realtor. Real, real tour. She's a real tour, man. She's a real tour, and we know it. Call it which we want. You should have stayed out of the woods and stayed in school. Call click. God, I gotta do that. Okay, I'm gonna do that after the stream. I gotta remember what it is, man. I don't even really tell them any people what it is, but I think it's P.O. Box 81. I think it's P.O. Box 81, but I gotta double check before you put it in somebody else's P.O. Box because then I'm gonna be mad. I'm a woman. <laughs> she chose violence. She's a woman that chose violence. Debbie's real annoyed with your BS pronunciation. I know, man. She's a real tour. Not a real annoyed. 
Uh, Debbie, I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. This, this shouldn't be happening today. Imagine all what all meta teens at the trailer park. Good luck collecting. No, no, no. We're living there, Sergeant. We're living there. We're not renting them out. We're living there. Uh, I'm laughing on my treadmill. Don't fall. You, sir, may call me whatever. You <laughs> Debbie, I like you. I like you, Debbie. Don't fall off the treadmill because you're laughing too hard, though. And also, it's been brought to my attention recently. While people are on the treadmill, they may have toilet paper hanging out of their leggings. So you might just want to give a quick look to make sure that you don't have anything coming out the rear end of your leggings there. Uh, because somebody else, if they're telling you, they you know, they don't need to get hit with that. I have a boyfriend deal. So I'm gonna, uh, just telling you as a friend, just take a quick look to make sure that you're okay. Well, the trailer park is the ma no. The, we are living there. It's okay. Thirty-two ETFs can be used to short AMC. GME is another story. I don't know if they're used to short AMC in that situation, but Sarge, I also live in Missouri, so I know the drill. Bro Meadows is exclusive, and it is an exclusive nice place, man. No drugs. No! There's no wink wink afterwards, man. It's a nice place. Clay, bro, what is up, Steezer? I like you back. No leaving apes for... Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Debbie, you're amazing. What's up, Clay? First time tuning in live. Brandon! This is your first time tuning in live, dude? Thank you. I appreciate that, man. I'm glad you're here. I wanted to rock and merch in Universal Studios, but the mail was too slow. I did not receive the merch before we take... Dang, dude, we got to... Uh... Gotta figure that out, man. Here, we need to send you back to Universal Studios with with shirts for your whole family. And they can be like, oh, this is the bro family. You'd be like, yes, this is the bro family. Go subscribe to Clay Bro's channel. Rolling up Sundial. Domingo, what is Sundial at? I know it was destroying after hours, up 20% last night, but I don't know what it is at right now. She went from, I have a boyfriend, to updating her Facebook status as single once she saw that dirty TP hanging off in public. She may have Max Greenfield. Hello, Caesar. Yes, Elizabeth. Take note of that. Take note of that. You run with it today. Uh, I love your positivity. Keep up the great work. Brandon, seriously. Love the fact that you're in here, man. Keep up the great work for you as well. What's up, Brando? What's up? AMC Trapper says, what's up, Brando? Uh, you never leave an eight behind. Facts, Frodo. We are coming back for all you 70, 60, and 50 apes. And the 40 apes as well. We will be pulling up for each and every one of you guys. Do not worry if you're sitting in the red because the squeeze has not squoze. Kramer just mentioned you should stop shorting AMC. Go figure. I don't know, man. Kramer seems a little weird to me sometimes. He seems a little weird to me. Uh, good. I'm here. I'm late, but I'm here. OT. I'm also here. I'm glad you are here as well. But you showed up at the very end of the stream, man. What's up with that? You, we're going to be leaving here soon. And then you, you're you coming in for the very end. How is caffeine a drug? I can see it's because it's, addi it's addictive. I don't know. I don't know. What, what class? I feel, like, I feel like Max Greenfield might have the answer to that. What classifies a drug? Someone cognitive might have an answer to that. It's a neurotoxin. Is that the answer? What, what classifies a drug? We don't know. I had eight Tilray shares at zero from the Afira merger. I sold them forever ago to put into AMC, and because I was still fresh, kind of feel like long term it wasn't the best, but it was only eight shares, so whatever. It's all right, man. I don't know. It, and even though they were at zero, um, what's Tilray at right now? Sixteen, seventeen bucks. So anyone ever talked about putting every a legitimate share into some sort of blockchain in order to establish share legitimacy and prevent synthetic and naked shorting? No, I have not talked about that on here. I don't know if anybody else has on their channels. A medicine, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. A medicine or other substance which has psychological effect when ingested or otherwise introduced into the body. Nice, Max. Thank you for the definition on drug there. I appreciate that. OT, don't worry. You can redeem yourself by showing up early the afternoon stream. Yes, you can. OT, man. He's the number one fan. Number one fan. Number one fan. 
OT is the number one fan. Number one fan. OT. Yes, yes, yes. OT, thank you very much for the super chat. But guess what time it is, guys. OT, ending it in style. Thank you very much, OT. I appreciate that. Hi. A uh, realtor is a paid member of the board of realtors. Not all real estate agents are realtors. See, see what I'm doing here with the realtors? Not all agents are allowed to use the realtor as their title. I'm a realtor. Pancakes coming in hot with explaining realtors. Pancakes, are you also obligated to take graduation photos as well? I want t-shirts. Me too, Donnell. Me too. I say we, we, we need to do that competition. Don't let me forget about that, guys. Okay, guys, you know what time it is. Pancakes is in here, so it's time to leave. Just kidding. It's 1 o'clock. It's lunchtime. So we're going to get back in about two hours or so. Make sure that all of you guys enjoy your lunch. Get your names in the chat right now if you want to shout out. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Thank you for all the Super Chats today. I'm so glad all the OGs were hanging out here. We had Rocket, Natalie, and Brett in here. And everybody else she's been a while since we've seen them right so uh, let's get these shout outs going and then we will be back later on this afternoon matthew elizabeth max greenfield pancakes amc trapper banana man kenny elizabeth chris max jack stack silver cognitive victor living on simon frodo amc trapper debbie nice all my friendly realtors are here yes they are Cat, I will see you later. Elizabeth, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Chris, we will be back. Each and every one of you have an awesome day. Dang it, Chris is taking the words right out of my mouth. Dude has been here a time or two before. The Mihai, yes. OT, getting a last minute fist. Bump, fist, bump, fist, bump. OT, with the fist. Boom. Thank you very much, OT. I appreciate that. Michelle, I will see you later. OT, enjoy your afternoon. We will be back. Pancakes, don't forget to eat lunch at about 1.30 when we are doing the afternoon stream, Pancakes. Cognitive, see you later, man. All right, guys, you know what time it is. So if you want to say it with me, say it with me. Hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day. Oh, and Kavilo, happy birthday to you, man.